Hey guys, it's Mrs. Yell back with this week's edition of Scholastic News. This week, our Scholastic News is called Alma's Colors. Alma Thomas lived a long time ago. That's why this picture of her is black and white. But Alma was an artist who loves colors. What colors do you see in this painting? So you can look at this painting here. This painting is called Snoopy Sees a Sunrise. All right, turn to the next page and follow along with me as I read. Alma found beauty. Alma Thomas found beauty everywhere. The beauty she found made her want to create. It made her want to make art. As you read, think about the different ways Alma created. When Alma was a child, she found beauty at home. Her mom was a dressmaker. Alma watched her sing songs while she sewed colorful dresses. The dresses looked like beautiful art to Alma. Everything she made was like a painting, Alma said. She found beauty in nature, too. There was clay in the ground near her house. Alma scooped up the clay in old cans. She used it to sculpt things like little cups and plates. I was always building something, she said. Alma got older and went to school. She found beauty there, too. She loved art class. She said it was a beautiful place just where I belonged. Alma, the teacher. Alma graduated from school and became an art teacher. She loved teaching and she loved her students. She took them to museums and started art clubs for them. She kept creating things too. She made puppets for her students. Okay, and at the top of the page we have a photograph and it says Alma painting in her studio. She made little buildings out of cardboard and in her free time she made paintings. She painted pictures of things she saw, like bottles and crowd, crowds of people. Alma, the artist. When she was 69 years old, she retired. She stopped teaching. Now, she had more time to create and paint. She wanted to try something new. I decided to try to paint something different from anything I'd ever done. She said, different from anything I'd ever seen. Instead of painting things the way she saw them, she painted them the way she, they made her feel. She looked at flowers. She felt like they were dancing in the wind. She painted them in little dabs of paint. They were colorful and beautiful. They were Alma's flowers. People loved Alma's new styles of painting. They put her paintings in museums. Alma became a famous artist. She was 80 years old. Alma found beautiful things everywhere. She shared the beauty with the world, and she did it in her own way by Blair Rainsford. Okay, down at the bottom, we have a text box, and it's called Alma's World of Color. Alma used paint to create colorful shapes and patterns. Here are three of her paintings. This one, I think this one's pretty cool. It's called A Fantastic Sunset, and she made it in 1970. This one also, I think, is pretty cool, called Tiptoe Through the Tulips. In 1969, she made that. And then this one, she made in 1970, called Blast Off. Okay, turn to the back page. Okay, here is a timeline that you are going to use to answer about Alma, time, Alma Thomas's life. So it's called Alma Thomas Timeline. In 1891, she was born. In 1924, she started teaching art. In 1960, she retired from teaching. In 1972, she had a show at a famous museum, and this painting was in her show. In 1978, she died. And then in 2015, one of her paintings was actually put up in the White House. All right, number one, when did she retire from teaching? in 1924, 1960, or 1972. So you're gonna look back at the events and find the one where it says she retired from teaching. Number two, what happened in 1924? She was born, she started teaching art, or she retired from teaching. Number three, Alma was born blank the year 1900. In, before, or after. So you need to find when she was born and see which one makes sense to fill in for that blank in the sentence. Number four, which of these happened last? She started teaching art, she retired from teaching, or she had a show at a famous museum. 
All right, and don't forget to answer this question. Alma had her show in the museum when she was 80 years old. How do you think she felt to become famous at that age? So you have a little bit of room you can write, but if you don't have enough space, maybe ask your teacher for a sticky note and you can answer your question on the sticky notes to get right to the back of your magazine. All right, let's take a look at the reading quiz. And remember, for these questions, you need to make sure you go back into the magazine to prove your answers. You can even underline it. Number one, what is this article mostly about? Was it about Alma Thomas's life as an artist, Alma Thomas's favorite kinds of art, or Alma Thomas's childhood? Think about which one it's mostly about. Number two, what was Alma's job before she retired? A sculptor, a dressmaker, or a teacher? Number three, when Alma retired, what did she do? Made paintings, made puppets, or made buildings? Number four, Alma said, I decided to try to paint something different from anything I'd ever done, different from anything I'd ever seen. What made Alma's paintings different? A, she painted the way things made her feel instead of how they looked. B, she painted flowers. Or C, her paintings were colorful. And then number five, look at the sideboard, sidebar on page three. What does it show you? So this is where you're going to look at page three, and this is what they're talking about, the sidebar. What does it show you? Does it show you A, Alma painting, B, some of Alma's artwork, or C, Alma's paintbrushes? All right, if I went too fast for you, remember you can go back and rewatch the video or press rewind to the part, part where you need to see what, or need to hear what I was saying. All right, friends, have a great day. I'll see you when I see you. Alrighty.